Hello, everyone. I'm George. Today, let's talk about common father quotes. Father's Day is coming. In America, Father's Day is set on the third Sunday of June, but here in Taiwan, Father's Day is the eighth of August. And the reason is quite simple, because in Chinese, eight, especially when you put two eights together, is pronounced as ba ba, which means father. For some reason, a lot of times, your father is saying exactly the same things as my father does. Sometimes I even wonder if they're going to the same father's school. If you don't believe it, later I'm going to talk about some quotes that is from my father or from many fathers that I've heard. Here in Taiwan, fathers are always having the image of being very serious, very hard to communicate with, or very strict on your work. Sometimes they're probably a little bit too indifferent to the children. Of course, it depends on what kind of family you grow up in. The quotes that we're covering today do not necessarily define all the fathers in the world. It's just some fathers would say that. There's no scientific proof for this. They're very wise, and they have a lot of wisdom to pass on to you. No matter whether you agree or not, you have to try to listen to them. And today we're just gonna cover five quotes from fathers that you might hear from your own father or probably other people's fathers. And here we go. Number one, you'll understand it when you're older. You'll understand it when you're older. You probably hear this from your father a lot. When you're asking an awkward or hard to explain kind of question, they will say this because sometimes it's too complicated or. Maybe you're just too young to understand what it really means, or most of the time is because of an embarrassing question, like, "Where do I come from?" Of course, this only happens when you are younger. When you're older, it's either you find the answer somewhere else, or you really understand it magically. Magic. <laughs> When your father says this, it's not because they don't want to talk to you. It's just because it's not that easy for them to say something that complicated. And number two, when I was your age, when I was your age. Sometimes, if you do something stupid or foolish, your father is going to bring up this old story that he. Tells you every week or every day. Like when I was your age, I always study very hard. I always work 24/7. They would tell you everything to make you believe that they are very hardworking people, and that is what makes them successful, like they are today. So when they say this, you probably just look at them and say to them, "You've told me before. I have heard this story a thousand times." But sometimes they just want to share the story with you. It's not because they don't remember they've told you that already. So maybe next time when they start saying, "When I was your age," you should just sit there and nod along and try to let them finish the story. And number three, they don't make them like they used to. They don't make them like they used to. When you grow up, they want to have a chat with you. They have to start with something new. Maybe start with something that is right in your hand, and that is why they will just pick up the product and start saying how they made it in the old days. So when they pick up something, a new product maybe, they will just look at it and start complaining about they used to make it in a better way. They made better products before. It's not because they're just complaining. Most of the time, it is just because the product reminds them of their childhood. Maybe you ask them more about what the product looked like in the old times, or you can just join the conversation, let them tell the story, let them share their own wisdom with you. And number four, I'm not gonna tell you again. I'm not gonna tell you again. When they say this, they're angry. Being a father is probably not the easiest job in the world. When you're running around, they would have to be the bad guy to grab you, to stop you from doing anything stupid. You know, as a kid, you probably make the same mistake many times, and every time you make the same mistake, they would give you a lecture. They would try to talk you out of something that you're about to do, and they would also say they won't remind you again. But it doesn't mean they will stop there. 
they would definitely remind you a third time, a fourth time, sometimes even a fifth time. And the way to avoid this is just stop trying doing something foolish or you just have to bear with them. Remember, when they say this, it does not mean you don't have to listen to your father's lecture anymore. There is probably going to be another one coming. And number five. I'm not sleeping, I'm just resting my eyes. I'm not sleeping, I'm just resting my eyes. My father does this all the time. When he is watching TV and kind of taking a nap there and you call him, maybe you need his help right away. He would say, I'm awake, I'm not sleeping. Well, I'm watching TV. But apparently, his eyes are not even open. It's not because they want to lie to you. It's just because they want to tell you, I am here for you. I'm always there. Even though I accidentally fall asleep, I can just wake up and go give you a hand. See how great fathers are. My father is always like that. Well, maybe he's watching this right now. I know you're sleeping. Next time, you can just take your nap. I'm okay. One of the reasons why I'm making this video is because my father is the kind of father who would never say I love you and he would just quietly do whatever is good for us. He's not always asking for something back. He would just call you after work asking you if you want to have any midnight snack or he would just come to help you without even complain about what you just did. And that is my father. So I want to make this video to tell my father that I know you love all the children you have and what I can do best is try to do something to make you proud of me. And because of my job, I have to work till very late at night. I only see you for a few hours a day and I don't tell you this a lot, but I know you do know this. You don't need me to say I love you. What I really want to say is, even though we don't talk that much, I want to tell you Happy Father's Day and I want you to have a really happy life. If you like this video, make sure you click the like button down below or you can subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time. Bye.